Hey everyone, Jonathan Taylor here with the BIB Podcast, bringing you another video tip this week. This week's video tip is a, a video scribe video tip, and it's for those who have questions sometimes on using video scribe to create blackboard videos instead of whiteboard videos. Now, people may have questions on how to change the background so it looks more like a chalkboard effect, especially when they're doing teaching videos. And uh, it's very simple, and it is possible to do that with a lot of the new updates with VideoScribe. And keep in mind, I'm using VideoScribe version 2. Point, uh, I believe the latest version is version 2.1. Um, so to change the uh, background and the settings for more of a uh, chalkboard look or a blackboard look, there's just a few things that you need to go through. And the first thing is changing the background. So the first thing I want to do is go up to the background and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just change the color. Now, if I want a complete background, of course, it'll be using the um, uh, F, F, F would be the color code to be completely black. But I don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to go 47, 47, and 47. And then what I want to do is click on the, um, right now it's it's on the so no vignette, and I want to make that more of a soft vignette. And so I'm going to pick one of the uh, textured backgrounds here, and I'm going to go with this one. And as you can see, in doing so, I get more of a texture look. kind of looks like a blackboard uh, effect. And uh, with that, I can go ahead and start. But the one thing I do need to do is change the, um, the text color. And so what I'm going to do is come up here, and I'll just write out my text. And so what I want to do is click on the color. And for the color, again, I'm not going to make it completely white. Um, for a chalk effect. So I'm going to change that to make it kind of a kind of a hazy white so it looks more like chalk. So in order to do that, I'm going to go with E3, E3, and E3. I'm going to click check. And then I am going to add that text. Now I'm going to enlarge that. Now you can see it looks more like a chalky look uh, for the text. So let's see here. I'll go in and I'm going down here to change my settings to about three seconds on the drawing. And then I'm going to make sure I have that set. And then click the... Okay, so you can see uh, the drawing now looks like more of a um, more of a chalkboard look, except for the fact that we have a pen in hand. So we do need to go up here to our hand Click on that, and we'll change our hand over to something more of a chalkboard look. Now, they've got a number of options for us to choose from, and uh, we can uh, pick a couple of different ones. I'm going to pick through and see. Uh, let's see. Let's see what this one looks like. And let's click the play. So you can see it's kind of a, a bulky chalk look. But we do have some other options. We go back up there. We can change it again. Uh, let's see. I believe this one's also a chalk. And let's click the play. It's more of a square chalk. And so you've got some different options. Now, you've also got the, the uh, option of using uh, no chalk whatsoever. And sometimes if you want to kind of create a distraction-free um video where you're doing some blackboard videos, but you don't want a hand or anything kind of get in the way, you can actually click the option where there is no, uh, there's no hand drawing. And so you'll just have the options, uh, everything that's being animated out will just slowly draw out, but no hand is involved. And I kind of like that effect, especially if you're doing a presentation or you're doing any kind of educational type videos where you're explaining something on a blackboard. So very simple, just follow those steps and uh, you'll create some really great looking blackboard uh, video or chalkboard video effects. Well, that's my video tip this week. You can find more videos like this by going over to my YouTube channel at BIB Podcast or you can visit BIBpodcast.com to find weekly blog posts and articles for tips on growing your online business. So thanks again. Take care, have a great week, and God bless.